Hey, it's Tara Sage here. Hi, hi. So, so glad to be connecting with you here today. It's Tara Sage of TaraSageCoaching.com, devoted to helping you live your dreams and create a life that you don't need a vacation from. And I am so glad to be here with you today and to celebrate with you and have you celebrate with me. So that's what Tips from Tara is going to be all about today. So hello to those who are joining. Hey, oh, it's so good to see you. Um, so one of the things that I do, I'm just going to dive right in. I've been thinking about this topic a lot. One of the things that I do with my clients that I've been told repeatedly by them has really made a big difference for them is celebrating their successes. Celebrating their successes. And while this might seem like a really obvious thing to do with coaching clients, celebrating successes, hey, I see some of you here now, welcome, welcome. Um, you know, while celebrating might seem like an obvious thing to do with clients, it can feel and seem pretty counterintuitive to them at first. Um, their response is often some kind or some form of resistance to celebration. Why? Well, because the tendency, and this I believe is true for all of us, the tendency is to measure success against what hasn't happened yet, right? Measuring your success against what hasn't happened yet. Or the tendency is to minimize your successes by comparing yourself and your successes to the success of other people. So this is this is a common thing that happens when we're in the mode of let's celebrate what went well. So it's easy to always see what is yet to be created or accomplished, right? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you relate to that. It's easy to always see what is yet to be created or accomplished. And it's easy to overlook the milestones of what has been successfully created or accomplished. And this is what I like to refer to as success amnesia. Success amnesia. We forget. We forget. And it's the sneaky ego mind's way of slowing you down and of having you feel inadequate. So success amnesia can feed really a constant state of anxiety about what's not yet done, right? Again, thumbs up if you're feeling this, thumbs up if you see yourself in this. It's very common and this can be really debilitating and it could be really energetically draining. Whereas celebration energy is what refuels the tank for the journey ahead. It really does. Yeah, you're feeling it. And you're going to need that energy to stay with the journey, I promise you. So that celebration energy is so critical for the journey ahead. And that's why every few months or so, I really make a point to take pause with my clients. We take pause and we take in the view, so to speak. Enjoy this beautiful view of what's around me right now. Take in the view of how far we've come together and highlighting the celebrations, highlighting the successes that have taken place over those few months. So that's a really important pause point. And this is the antidote to success amnesia. Got it? This is the antidote to success amnesia. Celebration! Woo woo! Do a little dance with me. So what I often hear from clients is like, oh yeah, Tara, like I completely forgot about that success. Or, oh yeah, God, that was kind of a big deal. And they start to see clearly how each milestone really builds on the last, right? How each success is worthy of acknowledgement and worthy of celebration and honoring the accomplishments and how 
bringing attention to it is what really makes a difference in the energy that they have for the next steps and for the next milestones. And again, you're gonna need that energy. So rather than feel daunted by what is not yet done or not yet created, they're fueled. It's like a, a, a tailwind, right? Carrying them and, and propelling them forward towards what's next with more clarity of vision and with more of a grounded confidence in their abilities. That's what celebration does. And this, this takes me to the next piece I want to talk to you about today, which is the, what I call the myth of arrival. Okay, the myth of arrival. And the myth of arrival is the false belief that when you get there, wherever your there is, when you reach the goal, that you will have arrived, right? The myth, <laughs> the myth of arrival, it's a myth because there will always be another there, there, right? There will always be another there, there. When you arrive, you will have a new vantage point and you will therefore then be able to see a new horizon. That's how it works. So know that as long as you're alive, there will always be another there, there. There's always gonna be another horizon that is inviting you to journey forward and journey towards it. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Taking this view, isn't this lovely? <sighs> Life is good. So, all of this to say, um, this is all the more reason to celebrate along the way, to celebrate. Because why? Because this is your life. Like, this is your life. Your life is happening. It's happening right now. It's happening now. And it, if your focus is just locked in on only what is not yet created, then you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss the present and the many, many, many causes for celebration along the way, right? So the antidote for success amnesia really allows you to have a dual focus, okay? You can be celebrating your successes while also seeing the vision of what's ahead. You can enjoy the view of how far you've come and be seeing and appreciating and striving towards and excited about the horizon that's ahead. So both are required for next level success and for feelings of fulfillment, right? So let's make this Tips from Tara a success amnesia antidote party, right? Let's make this a celebration, a shared celebration. So my invitation to you is to post in the comments something that you are celebrating. Share a success that you have had over the last couple of months or, or maybe a success that you had today. Share one and let's celebrate together. Let's create momentum around this celebration energy together because when it's shared, it grows. So know that no success is too big or too small or too silly. Bring it on. Like what are you celebrating today or something over the last couple of months that you're proud of? Now, to get the ball rolling, I'm gonna start. So something that I am celebrating today is another ticket has sold to the Nomadic Adventure Club. Yay! So if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Nomadic Adventure Club is actually a second business that I, along with my business partner, Reese Payne, uh, launched just earlier this year and we have a very special event that is coming up this summer 
and you're invited. So you're invited. So learn more about it. We, we love sharing it. We're so excited about this event. It's so special, so unique. And to learn more about it, go to nomadicadventureclub.com. So today we sold one more ticket to the event and it's gonna be awesome and I'm celebrating all of that. So celebrate that with me, yay! So what's something that you are celebrating? What's something that you are celebrating today? So post it in the comments below and I can't wait to celebrate it with you. So thanks so much for watching Tips from Tara and feel free to share this video. The more the merrier. Let's generate some real celebration, momentum, and mojo here today, all as an antidote, antidote to success, amnesia. All right? So until next time, bye for now. Can't wait to read all your celebrations.